Malaysian and Indonesian are two standardized registers of the Malay language, used in Malaysia and Indonesia, respectively. Both varieties are generally mutually intelligible, yet there are significant differences in spelling, grammar, pronunciation and vocabulary, as well as the predominant source of loanwords. The differences can range from those mutually unintelligible with one another, to those having a closer familial resemblance. The regionalized and localized varieties of Malay can become a catalyst for intercultural conflict, especially in higher education. Perception To non-native speakers the two varieties may seem identical, but to native speakers the differences are noticeable through both diction and accent. They affect the broadcasting industry with regard to foreign language subtitling, for example, in DVD movies and on cable TV. In order to reach a wider audience, both Indonesian and Malay subtitles are sometimes displayed in a movie, along with other language subtitles. Another example is Malaysian TV providing Malay subtitling on Indonesian sinetrons TV dramas aired in Malaysia, and vice versa. The Malay language in Indonesia and Malaysia also differs in recognition, where in Malaysia it enjoys status as the national language Malaysian language, while in Indonesia it is considered as a regional language in Malay-speaking areas such as the eastern coast of Sumatra and West Kalimantan. The term, Malay language, Bahasa Melayu in Indonesia and Malaysia invites different perceptions from its respective people. To Malaysians, the Malay language is generally understood as the national language of Malaysia, with Malaysian language Bahasa Malaysia being a precise appellation for the Malay variety used in the country. Between 1986 and 2007, the term Bahasa Melayu was used instead of Bahasa Malaysia, until the latter was reinstated, in order to instill a sense of belonging among Malaysians of all races, rather than just Malays. Therefore, there was no clear distinction between the use of the term Malay Bahasa Melayu and the national language of Malaysia. Bahasa Malaysia. In Brunei, where Malay is also an official language, the language is known as Bahasa Melayu and in English as Malay in Indonesia. However, there is a clear distinction between Malay language Bahasa Melayu and Indonesian Bahasa Indonesia. Indonesian is the national language which serves as the unifying language of Indonesia. Despite being a standardized form of Malay, it is not referred to with the term Malay in common parlance. The term Malay is usually reserved for the forms of Malay indigenous to the Malay ethnic group the national standardized language of Malaysia and the non-standard idioms of Malay people, including those used by Malay Indonesians. Thus, Malay is considered a regional language in Indonesia, enjoying the same status as e.g. Javanese, Sundanese, Buganese, Balinese, Batak languages and others. Moreover, to some Indonesians, the term Malay is more often associated with Malaysia and the Malaysian variety of Malay. In Malaysia, the terms Indonesian Malay and Malaysian Malay are sometimes used for Indonesian and Malaysian as spoken in Malaysia. In Indonesia, Indonesian Malay usually refers to the vernacular varieties of Malay spoken by the Malay peoples of Indonesia, that is, to Malay as a regional language in Sumatra, though it is rarely used. Bahasa Malaysia and Bahasa Melayu are used interchangeably in reference to Malay in Malaysia. Topic. Orthography Before the 20th century, Malay was written in a local modified form of the Arabic alphabet known as Jawi. During the 20th century, Malay written with Roman letters, known as Rumi, almost completely replaced Jawi in everyday life. The Romanizations originally used in Malaya now part of Malaysia and the Dutch East Indies now Indonesia reflected their past history as British and Dutch colonial possessions respectively. In Malaya, the Romanization of Malay, devised by Richard Wilkinson was influenced by English, whereas in the Dutch East Indies, the system devised by C. A. van Ophuessen was influenced by Dutch. As a result, in Indonesia, the vowel in the English word moon was formally represented oe, as in Dutch, although the official spelling of this sound was changed to u in 1947 when the Republican spelling system was used. Similarly, until 1972, the initial consonant of the English chin was represented in Malaysia as ch, whereas in Indonesia, it continued to follow Dutch and used tj. Hence the word for grandchild used to be written as chuchu in Malaysia and chujo in Indonesia, until a unified spelling system was introduced in 1972 known in Indonesia as a jan yang disempurnakan or the perfected spelling which removed most differences between the two varieties, Malay ch and Indonesian tj became c, hence cu cu. 
Indonesia abandoned the spelling DJ for the consonant at the beginning of the word Jakarta to conform to the J already in use in Malaysia, while the old Indonesian J for the semivowel at the beginning of the English young was replaced with Y as in Malaysia. Likewise, the velar fricative which occurs in many Arabic loanwords, which used to be written ch in Indonesian, became kh in both languages. However, oe was retained in some proper names, such as the name of the first president, Sukarno, written as Soekarno, and his successor Suharto, written as Sohato. The ch and dj letter combinations are still encountered in names such as Ahmed and Jojo, pronounced as Ahmad and Joyo respectively, although the post-1972 spelling is now favored. Although the representations of speech sounds are now largely identical in the Indonesian and Malay standards, a number of minor spelling differences remain, usually for historical reasons. For instance, the word for money is written as wong in Malaysia, but uang in Indonesia, the word for try is written as Cuba in Malaysia, but koba in Indonesia, the word for because is written as karana in Malaysia, but karina in Indonesia, while the word for cake is written as kuih in Malaysia, but q in Indonesia. One notable difference in punctuation between the two languages is the use of different decimal marks. Indonesian, influenced by Dutch, uses the decimal comma, whereas Malay, influenced by English, uses the decimal point. Topic: <laughs> Pronunciation. Pronunciation also tends to be very different, with East Malaysia, Brunei and East Indonesia pronouncing words in a form called Bahasa Baku, where the words are pronounced as spelled, and enunciation tends to be clipped, staccato and faster than on the Malay Peninsula, which is spoken at a more languorous pace. Many vowels are pronounced and were formerly spelt differently in Peninsular Malaysia, Singapore and Sumatra, Tuju is pronounced and was spelt, Tujo, Pili as Pila, etc., and many final A's tend to be pronounced as schwa's, E and O are also allophones of I and U in closed final syllables in Peninsular Malaysian, Singaporean and Sumatran varieties of Malay. Topic. Vocabulary Topic. Vocabulary differences Indonesian differs from Malaysian in the quantity of loanwords from Javanese, Dutch and other languages. For example, the word for post office in Malaysia is Pajabat POS. In Indonesia this means post officer, whereas in Indonesia it is Kanta POS. From the Dutch word for office, Kantor. There are also some Portuguese influences. In Indonesia, Christmas is known as Natal. Whereas Malaysia uses Christmas, derived from English, or in some cases also natal, due to Indonesian influence. Pronunciation of some loanwords in standard Malay follows English, while some in Indonesian follows Dutch, for example Malay, televisien, from English, television, and Indonesian, televisi, from Dutch, televisi, the sign, and c, also prevail in some other words. There are also instances where the Malaysian version derives from English pronunciation while the Indonesian version takes its cue from Latin. The Latin preference of the older Indonesian intellectuals in these instances may be ascribed to the influence of their classical oriented education when gymnasium schools were established during the Dutch colonial period. Compare Malay kualiti, kuantiti, majority, minority and university with Indonesian kualitas, kuantitas, meritas, minoritas and universitas. Some words which are spelt the same in both languages may even carry entirely different meanings in the other language, potentially leading to humorous or embarrassing situations, while baha means steel in Indonesian, in Malaysian it means fertilizer. Also, whereas the Indonesian word butter means require or need, in Malaysian, it is a vulgar slang term equivalent to cunt, cock. Conversely, where the word banki seems innocuous enough in Malaysia, census. In Indonesia it is a derogatory term for transvestite. The relatively large share of Islamic Arabic or Persian loan words shared by Malaysian and Indonesian often poses no difficulty in comprehension and usage, although some forms may have developed a slightly different meaning or have become obsolete either in Malaysian or in Indonesian, e.g. kidmat, wakel, see below. Topic: <laughs> Vocabulary comparison. Topic. False friends Besides vocabulary differences, there are also a number of false friends in both languages. 
as these words are in quite common use in either or both of the languages, misunderstandings can arise. Topic: <laughs> Same words, same meaning, but different letters. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Syllabification. The influence of English One of the most important aspects in differences between Malaysian and Indonesian is the degree of influence from English. Apart from being heavily influenced by the Dutch language, Indonesian language also adopted a significant number of English loanwords in its vocabulary, although English did not play significant role on the Indonesian language and in fact most of these vocabulary are of Dutch origin, Dutch and English share a similar Germanic origin, and Dutch has also borrowed from Latin, although to a lesser extent than English. There have been many changes in Indonesian as a result of its historical development. Words have been freely borrowed from English and only partly assimilated, in many cases, to the Indonesian patterns of structure. By the late 1970s, English words began pouring into the language, leading one commentator, writing in 1977, to refer to the trend towards Indo Saxonization, known in Indonesian as Pengindosiksonan. A great many borrowings from English sometimes fulfill no communicative need, expressing concepts adequately covered by existing words. Among the examples are, accurate instead of tepat accurate, alliancy in the place of sekutu alliance, exus rather than ada exist, candidate as well as kalon candidate, conclusi instead of kesempilan conclusion, contaminasi in the place of pensmaran contamination, opini rather than pendapat opinion, and opsi in the place of pilahan option. Contrary to its Indonesian counterpart, Malay has shown a remarkable resilience, despite formerly being part of British Empire, some in Indonesia view this trend of excessive borrowings as language dynamism while some Malaysian linguists called it mass language pollution and lack of creativity in creating new terms. Topic. Example The original text in Indonesian Apabila paracharan pacta stabilitas Europa dihormati sampai k detailnya, razia utang public debanding product domestic bruto pada hari krisis akan berada di posisi 10 percentes point kurang dalam zona euro, Catania, the same text rendered in Malaysian. Apabila paracharan pakatan kestabilan Europa dihormati sakara terperinci, nisba hutang awam babanding keluaran dalam negara kasa pada zaman krisis akan berada di kedudukan 10 mata perichusan kurang dalam zon euro, katabeli i, English translation. If the European Stability Pact rules had been respected in detail, the ratio of public debt to gross domestic product on the days of crisis would have been at the position 10 percentage points less in the Eurozone, he said. Topic. Convergence of vocabulary The rift of evolution between the two languages is based more on political nuance and the history of their formation than on cultural reasons. As a result, views regarding each other's languages differ amongst Malaysians and Indonesians. In Malaysia, the national language is Malaysian, in Indonesia, it is Indonesian. Malaysians tend to assert that Malaysian and Indonesian are merely different varieties of the same language, while Indonesians tend to treat them as separate, albeit closely related, languages. The result of this attitude is that the Indonesians feel little need to synchronize their language with Malaysia, Singapore and Brunei, whereas the Malaysians are keener to coordinate the evolution of the language with the Indonesians. However, both parties have realized that communication benefits from mutually comprehensible and intelligible languages, which motivated efforts to synchronize the language's development. The effort to synchronize both languages' evolution to increase their mutual intelligibility has been embarked by imposing standard rules of language. This process is headed by Pusat Bahasa on the Indonesian side and Dewan Bahasa Dan Pustaka as its Malaysian counterpart. Topic. Sample The following texts are excerpts from the official translations of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in Malaysian and Indonesian, along with the original declaration in English. 
Malaysian text sample, Makadengan INI, Perhimpunan Agung Mengisidiha Kamperasidaharan Sejagat Hak Asasiman Usiaini Sibagai Suatu Ukaran Bersama Terhadap Penkapayan Ole Seluru Umat Manuja Dan Kesemua Negara Dengan Tujuan Supaya Setiap Individu Dan Setiap Badan Masayarika, Dengan Sentiasa Mengjingati Perasidaharan INI, Hendakla Berazam Melalui Pengaharan Dan Pendidikan Bagi Memajukan Sanjungan Terhadap Seluru Hak Hak Dan Kebibasan INI Dan Sakara Lanka Lanka Berperingkat Perengkat, Di Bidang Negara Dan Antarabangsa, Bagi Menjaminkan Penkitiravan Dan Pematuhin Sayagatnya Yang Berksan, Kejua Dwanya Di Antara Negara Negara Angoda Masing Masing Dan Rakyat Walaya Walaya Di Bawa Bidangkuas America, Perkara 1. Samua Manuja Dilahirkan Bebas Dan Samarada Dari Segi Kemdilian Dan Hak Hak. Merika Mempunyai Pemikiran Dan Perasan Hadi Dan Hendakla Bertendak Di Antara Satu Sama Lane Dengan Samanga Pasodaran, Indonesian Text Sample, Maka, Majelis Umum Memproklamasi Kampanyatan Umum Tentang Hak Asasiman Usia Sibagai Satu Standa Umum Keberasilan Untuk Semua Bangsa Dan Negara, Dengan Tujuan Agar Setiap Orang Dan Setiap Badan Dalam Masyarakat Dengan Senantiasa Mengjingat Pernyatan Ini, Akan Berasaha Dengan Jalan Mengaha Dan Mendedik Untuk Menggalakan Pengdagan terhadap hak hak dan kebibasan kebibasan tersebut dan dengan jalan tindakan tindakan progresif yang bersifat nasional maupun international menjaman pengakuan dan pendormatanya sekara universal dan efektif baik ole bangsa bangsa dari negara angoda sendiri maupun ole bangsa bangsa dari dera dera yang berada di bawah kekuasaan hukum Amerika pasal 1 semua orang dilahirkan merdeka dan mempunyai matabat dan hak hak yang sama Merika di Karunia Akal Dan Hati Narani Dan Henanya Bergol Sasama Lane Dalam Samangat Pasodaran, the original English version of the text. Now, therefore, the General Assembly proclaims this universal declaration of human rights as a common standard of achievement for all peoples and all nations, to the end that every individual and every organ of society, keeping this declaration constantly in mind, shall strive by teaching and education to promote respect for these rights and freedoms and by progressive measures, national and international, to secure their universal and effective recognition and observance, both among the peoples of member states themselves and among the peoples of territories under their jurisdiction. Article 1 All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. 